Welcome back to Meg's Voice Hut. So this is the trilogy now. Now I just wanted to get these finished and put them out there. Public domain, the PCBs and the schematics are public domain. The cases, I can't actually make those public domain, but they're up on uh, Tinkercad. And we'll go and have a look at those in a minute. So uh, yeah, I wanted to do all three, get it all finished now. Uh, there's the alternate wiring one, Pro Micro version, the regular wiring Pro Micro version and the teensy version now what why bother uh because you know choice choice this is the alternate wiring one uh you, you know the, the only advantage of this is there's no additional components so the bomb file is incredibly small just ignore that uh, <laughs> that bodge wire there um i'm using all usb c now he has saved us all usb c uh, the, the only, if you want to use a USB-C Pro Micro, that's the only one that's going to work. It's the black, the, the black one, because it has some components on the back and it's the same footprint. And it does raise it slightly from the board. I'm using this battery as well, which is a nice battery, apparently 600 milliamp hours, 60, 25, 35. So that's the alternate, but I wouldn't obviously recommend that. I would recommend the regular wiring version, which does have a just a three extra components, which is the PNP transistor and a couple of resistors under there. I'm not going to pop it open. This one actually has the uh, a regular Pro Micro in there. Oh, that's something I want to get is some 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 more of these little stick-ons. I'm getting, I've ordered some white ones so that actually sits on the bench nice. Whereas these ones move around a bit. Anyway, uh, this one had a blue screen because I wanted to test that out. Uh, I'm not really taken by it to be honest, but uh, you know, have to try these things. Uh, this one's all USB-C and this is the regular version, regular wiring so you can just download all the games for the Argyboy FX. So I've put all the files on here, um, it's uh, uh, links in the description. Uh, I think this is the best way of moving forward, I think this is the way I'm going to be um, publishing stuff because it just makes more sense. The open source hardware labs it's, uh, it's, it's pretty hardcore but um, what you get is the ability to just um, open these things straight into the editor. Uh, you know, open the PCB straight into the editor and make alterations. The same with the files. Rather than releasing the STLs, I'm going to release. I'm, I'm doing it this way, which I think is is nobody else is doing this, and I think this is the way forward. Really, obviously, if you're using using Fusion 360. Look all those changes I made. Are they the same cases? Are they? Anyway, um, yeah, obviously if you're using Fusion 360, this isn't really gonna help you that much, um, but you can make just little changes. Like the only thing that I think people need to change possibly is these up and down, you know, moving these holes up and down. I'm not gonna touch them, but uh, so that's dead easy to do. Even if you don't use Tinker, Tinkercad, you can just, if you if you've soldered something a bit lower than I have, you know you can just change the whole position. Uh, so there's three cases here; they're all marked. I need to. I'll sort that out in a minute. Uh, a Teensy case, Pro Micro with Micro USB, and then the Pro Micro uh, with USB C port, which is a bit lower. It's a bit lower down that one. Uh, buttons. There's a range of buttons there. You need obviously those buttons of what I use but uh, you might find that your battery's bigger or something else and so there's a selection of button heights there. So yeah moving forward I think this is the way to release stuff to be honest because it gives uh, people the opportunity to uh, just make changes very easily and uh, I mean I might put it on some other sites just to get a bit of exposure but uh, so with regards to building it, I mean, I've just put some simple notes in here. Really, you're on your own there. Uh, if you have a look at these, there's two links here. If you have a look at these projects, uh, you know, there's some instructions 
not obviously not to build it like this but uh, there's some instructions on how to program the pro micro which you've got to do beforehand or the teensy um, it gives you some insight into the settings for the this is using the alternate wiring um, but if you use the instructions on this one this would work for the teensy and the regular wiring pro micro version so there's uh, instructions on you know Argybro Hambra selecting the right uh, bootloader anyway thanks for watching